Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta-7, codename Bookkeepers, and welcome back to another SCP document review. And the SCP we will be reviewing today is SCP-2140, Object Class, Thaumiel. SCP-2140 1-D is considered neutralized. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2140 poses no threat to Foundation personnel. Deployment to counter hostile SCP-2140-1 instances under the condition of Appendix A is authorized. Expanded deployment against other threats must be approved on a case-by-case -case basis by O5 Command and the Ethics Committee. Every possible effort should be made to prevent creation or discovery of additional instances. Any person exposed to or possessing significant knowledge, as defined in Appendix C, of any Dash 1 instance is to be terminated, amnesticized, or exposed to SCP-2140 at the discretion of the Strategic Threats Officer. The fragments of the only known copy of SCP-2140-1-D are permanently sealed in secure deep storage at the facilities listed in Appendix E. Description SCP-2140 is an image derived through Project Kalanikos from SCP-2140-1-D. Dash 1 instances are alternative versions of the image. All instances depict glyphs in the script. See SCP-2602 for more information. While it is possible for persons of any background to view isolated portions, 100% of persons who view a complete SCP-2140, regardless of medium, are loyal Foundation personnel with 2-2140 clearance or higher. These persons invariably have highly corroborated personal histories with multiple eyewitnesses, known Foundation colleagues, and documentation consistent with this profile. The presence of corroborating physical evidence supports the hypothesis that this is a retroactive alteration to personal history such that the person will always have been a loyal Foundation employee with appropriate clearance. It is suspected that this anomaly follows a path of least resistance and alters the minimum necessary number of events, Appendix B. No records exist of any experimental test subjects, such as D-Class personnel, or any other person lacking appropriate background and clearance viewing the complete image. SCP-2140-1-D was first located at the site, kilometers west of Uzbekistan. Irregularities in the dig team's reports were noted due to the nature of the dig site. A memetic hazard was suspected. MTF ETA-10, codenamed See No Evil, was deployed and faced heavy resistance from the dig team. The researchers and security personnel were later discovered to have been a covert cell within the Foundation dedicated to the retrocreation of and were killed resisting capture. Ultimately, MTF Nu-10 suffered three casualties as a result of exposure. Agent Swanson was presumably exposed first and then deliberately affected Agents Kim and Okoro. Subsequently, these three agents were discovered to have represented another deep cell, despite originating on three separate continents, and knowing each other for less than a year, and were killed attempting to access SCP. Following recovery, Project Kalanikos was enacted. The project's separate teams analyzed sections of SCP-2140-1-D in isolation. Their findings were given to the Compartmentalized Implementation Team, which was then able to produce a working prototype of SCP-2140 with zero exposure to the original. All members of the project, including all personnel exposed to early prototypes, were subsequently exposed to SCP-2140 and amnesticized. 
and that is it. This is actually related to Davite Origins, akin to the previous SCP reviews we've done. Thank you all so much for listening or watching. My name is Agent Paul of MTF Delta 7, and I'll see you next week with another document review. Bye. From Junior Researcher Will Jameson to Technical Researcher David Rosen. RE, Database Error. Hello, Researcher Rosen. Junior Researcher Will Jameson here, writing to report possible error in the database. According to RAISA, I am granted level 2 access to SCP-2140, despite me being a level 1 personnel. Furthermore, I have no prior or current project tied to SCP-2140. I suspect a system compromise. Can you please look into the matter? Sincerely, W. Jameson. Rosen looked at the new email in his inbox and groaned. His eyes shifted to an adjacent monitor with the tab SCP-2140 Access. There was a long list before his eyes, with last names and first names, the numbers of time accessed and the clearance 2 slash 2140. Will Jameson has a 1 next to his name. Geez, what's with all these people asking me about 2140 clearance? Rosen switched to another tab labeled Templates for Known Issues and scrolled down to the relevant issue. Issue SCP-2140 Level 2 slash 2140 clearance Hi! Insert name of personnel I have checked with RAISA, and I find no irregularity with the system. You are cleared for level 2 access regarding SCP-2140. For certain SCP objects, personnel can be granted higher levels of access compared to their actual security clearance. It is mentioned in the employee guide, so I would suggest reviewing that again. Rosen copied and pasted the template as part of his response, editing only the necessary. The end result was... From Technical Researcher David Rosen to Junior Researcher Will Jameson. RERE -E, Database Error. Hi, Junior Researcher Jameson. I have checked with the RAISA and find no irregularity with the system. You are cleared for level 2 access regarding SCP 2140. For certain SCP objects, personnel can be granted higher levels of access compared to their actual security clearance. It is mentioned in the employee guide, so I would suggest reviewing that again. Rosen. Quickly, Rosen clicked send and moved on to other similar emails. Will Jameson was inside a courtroom, standing behind the bars of the accused stand. He looked out at the judge, who read out the sentence. And you, Will Jameson, are hereby declared guilty of the murder of Cronus Jameson, announced the judge. Ah. Will Jameson sprung from his bed, cold sweat down his face. He was inside his bedroom in the staff dorm at Site 742. It was nighttime. 330, local time precisely. Jameson grabbed his head and shook it. That dream again, he muttered as his free hand switched on the lamp. With the slightest bit of illumination in his room, Jameson regained his composure and opened up the drawer. Inside were snippets of newspaper encased in plastic wraps. On top of the small pile was a newspaper clipping stating, Phantom Stabbing. Cronus Jameson, age 62, was found murdered in his home, stabbed by an unknown attacker. No traces indicative of the attacker was found at the scene of the crime. There is no indication of breaking and entering. What do I gotta do with Dad's death? He wondered. The next morning, junior researcher Jameson prepared another work day at Foundation Site 742, located in Sarawak, Malaysia. Jameson ultimately felt isolated as a foreigner in this country and as a newcomer in the site or the Foundation in general. He approached his desk, set up his desktop, while his hands moved about to clear his desk, his mind was fixated at the dream that haunted him so. Maybe it's guilt, that I could not prevent Dad's death. Yeah, definitely guilt. Dreams are rarely literal, he thought. Morning, Will. 
someone greeted Jameson. Taken aback, Jameson snapped back into reality and was greeted by researcher Neural, his colleague and senior in the Foundation by nine months. Hey, Neural, Jameson replied as Neural took their seat in the cubicle next to Jameson. You look kind of shell-shocked. You still thinking of the locals at Kuching? You still thinking of the locals at Kuching who gave you weird looks on Friday? Don't be. Those guys are just jealous that you can travel and work abroad and see other cultures, you know? Thanks, Neural, but I won't let some complete strangers ruin my day. Sure. If you got any problems, don't be afraid. Help is in the desk beside you. Neural winked at her recently arrived colleague, pointing at herself. As their conversation ended, Jameson's desktop was ready. He accessed the internet and ran through the email. There was a new message, a reply to one he had sent a few days ago. From Junior Researcher David Rosen to Junior Researcher Will Jameson. Ari Ari Database Error? Hi, Junior Researcher Jameson. I have checked with the RAISA and find no irregularity with the system. You are cleared for level 2 access regarding SCP-2140. For certain SCP objects, personnel can be granted higher levels of access compared to their actual security clearance. It is mentioned in the employee guide, so I would suggest reviewing that again. Rosen. Looking at the email, Jameson gave a sigh of relief that all was normal, but the question remained. What was so special about SCP-2140 that he could access it? Must be one of those general reading files like Abel or those chairs. Jameson thought as he changed tabs to access RAISA. He continued to type his password and access clearance, gaining access to SCP-2140. His eyes skimmed through the document. Description. SCP-2140 is an image derived through Project Kalikinos from SCP-2140-1-D. Dash 1 instances are alternative versions of the image. All instances depict glyphs in the script. 100% of persons who view a complete SCP-2140, regardless of medium, are loyal Foundation personnel with 2-2140 clearance or higher. Supports the hypothesis that this is a retroactive alteration to personal history. Located at the Dig site. Kilometers west of Uzbekistan. Some primitive artwork from Uzbekistan, Jameson summarized, his eyes turning to the attached image file and their captions. The first of the files attached was the image itself. SCP-2140 itself it was a set of symbols that is all Greek to him, with the Foundation logo at its center. While this should be the first time he saw the symbol, Jameson just kept staring at it. This is... Oh, got a problem I see, Neural peered from behind Jameson. Neural, please stop creeping me up from behind, Jameson insisted his gaze switched to his colleague. You're checking out 2140, I see, Neural quickly deduced. No biggie, I'm cleared for it too and so are our other colleagues here. 2 slash 2140, right? Yeah, must be those under general reading, Jameson reasoned, causing Neuro to make an X mark sign with her fingers. Incorrect, rookie. General reading is denoted by the SCP number, followed by the letter G in caps and square brackets. 2140 is not under general reading, Neuro explained. Read the employee manual again, smart boy. Say, Neuro. Do you think we are what we are? Jameson asked. I mean, as loyal Foundation employees? Huh? Don't tell me you're creeped out by 2140. Nero rolled her eyes. Look, that attitude won't get you far in the Foundation. Besides, let's take a look at the document here. Nero leaned forward and pointed at certain passages on the screen. No record exists of any experimental test subjects, such as D-Class personnel or any other person lacking appropriate background with clearance viewing the complete image. See, no inappropriate person was tested this SCP before, she explained. And the personal history thing is only a hypothesis as stated here. 
Go read the academic journals. Dr. Vang wrote his own theory of it being a mimetic kill agent for spies and double agents. Yeah, maybe I'm having an existential crisis, Jameson admitted. Comes with the job, get used to it, Mr. Loyal Employee. Neural smiled as she walked off while humming a song from her childhood. On the hand, Jameson continued looking at SCP-2140's documentation, and his eyes browsed through the captions. Area 3 Area 313, deep storage. Area 313, oh yeah, I was there for orientation, he realized. As the day ended, most matters settled, Jameson went to sleep for the night. Like previous nights, since his employment with the Foundation, he dreamt. Jameson was seated in an auditorium. It was full of other people, all of them wearing orange jumpsuits, with numbers on them. He too was wearing the same orange jumpsuit. Armed guards with truncheons were stationed at the doors of the auditorium. On the stage, a stern elderly lady in uniform stood at the podium. On the breast pocket of her uniform was the emblem of the Foundation. Good afternoon, boys. Welcome to Area 313. Rejoice, for you will be offering your times and selves in service to all humanity. She spoke. 